yeah it's hard like the work schedule for the navy is hi guys it's been forever since i've been here on youtube but you know i just moved into my apartment and your girl was broke first of all pay for our move-in fees we had to furnish the place i still have my car payment my car insurance and all the girly things that i need and then on top of that my ring light like the phone holder it broke and i'm like mm, it's not really a necessity so boom um we just gonna have to do without it and i know i could have been like creative and like made up something to prop my phone up on but i just really didn't have the energy and i was just completely out of it like stress but i was really happy with the place that i got you guys saw the video of the move in so basically we were waiting on our bah basic housing allowance our current check was 1600 and then like with basic housing allowance it 4800 <laughs> so yeah we was waiting on that and i'm back i'm back i'm here back new improved happy new year this year is about abundance it's about going after everything you want and knowing that you are capable of achieving those things i have so many inspiring beautiful women that i look up to and they're influencers but they have a huge following they stand for what i stand for and i believe in them thoroughly i kind of pick up on other people's habits so i have like two influencers and they do like this so i need to be careful with picking up just anything from these girls but in today's video it's basically a life update and the pros and cons in the navy so so far i've been in the navy for a year and a half and i just got promoted mm, 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 mm. but um i want to talk about the first time that i got promoted well i thought i was getting promoted and how embarrassed i felt that's gonna be another video but today it's all about pros and cons in the Navy. And I have people messaging me, asking me questions. So guys, keep the questions coming. And all of the feedback for how I feel about the Navy now, the pros and cons, it's going to be more pros and cons that I find out the next two years. I have four years total contract and more pros and cons are gonna come up. So stay tuned for part two, three, four, five, however many more I need to make. But so far we're gonna go over the two years how it's been at the uss constitution what we're going to talk about is time time goes by fast but it also goes by slow so just like in boot camp you would have a really dense compacted day a full schedule from sunrise to even past sunset where you would have these full days but since every day of the week was compacted the week went by fast but the days were longer because it was so much to do in the day so i can honestly say now that i'm out of boot camp it still applies so your days is full of so many things to do and you get fatigued and you're drained and tired but then like you're like oh shoot you look up and it's wednesday already so i would say that's kind of a pro and a kind you know like time goes by fast but it goes by slow at the same time and then you turn around and you have a lot of like 72s 96s and that's basically you have monday off so that it'd be a 72 and then if you have tuesday off that'd be a 96 so it's a lot of those in the military with the national holidays next thing i want to key in on is schedule the schedule in the military is a hit or miss is neither here nor there it constantly fluctuates I personally have not found the right schedule for me so you have duty you have work you have duty days you have sometimes you're staying the night at work you have like a six hour shift that you have to stay working overnight and then you have mandatory meetings you have volunteer opportunities but then you also have personal life so with personal life it's either you dedicate more to your personal life and you slack off in work or you give so much to work and you don't have a personal life so it's like i'm trying to find the exact balance on where i can fit that in and how i can make more time for beautifying and being me in which if you guys saw my first video of why I joined the Navy is to see if I could still have my girly life and also have this like strenuous um hard laborious job and still balance the two so this is the update and it's very hard 
yeah it's hard like the work schedule for the navy is but then i'm also on special duty so i wonder if the special duty has more to do with like the um strenuousness the um, like the more work that i have to do because i am a special duty command and they require more of you and expect more of you at this command versus the regular fleet like out on a ship so it's special duty and then it's just like your job regular duty i haven't learned my job yet but i am on special duty doing what they asked me to do preserve promoting and protecting the uss constitution so right now the schedule con friends so friends in the navy so you have the people that you work with and you get really close relationships with them these people they vibe with you they keep you kind of sane in the work environment you guys can hang out after work and you get really close because you're doing the same job you have a lot more to talk about now the friends prior to joining the navy you have two type of friends so one is either really interested in learning about the navy the navy terms what you do um how it works and then you have the other people that just want to be your friend they want to talk to you they want to see how you're doing they want to hang out they want to spend time and so i enjoy both of them because it's like oh you really care about me and what i'm doing and i don't mind teaching you it and then on the other aspect i also enjoy the people that just want to talk to me chop it up laugh kick it whatever because it keeps you grounded it reminds you of who you were before the navy and it also keeps you thriving like yeah that is who i am so i can't lose myself who i was previously the positive aspects of me lose myself in the navy so with the people that you are friends with in the navy like just um make your best judgment and have discernment for how close you want to get to them me personally i am not like a i have all these friends like so popular like everyone loves me so um i would just keep healthy boundaries and never sacrifice your beliefs your values or like drain yourself in order to please other people or just to fit in because that's how you lose yourself and you never know when people are just going to get up and decide not to be your friend anymore i remember just a year ago when i broke my angle i felt like i lost everything everyone and the one person that stuck beside me like would bring food to me would ask me if i need anything from a grocery store was a really good friend and then things happen huh. yeah i'm gonna have a video and a book on dating in the military that's going to be next so friends for the most part i would say is a pro now let's talk about vacation time so in the military you are allotted 30 paid days off with that i've only taken vacation to go see my homegirl i missed her wedding unfortunately and so i just decided to see her in her home time i took vacation for that i took vacation to see my dog i always take vacation to see my dog only so it's like you have to be really particular about which days you want to take off and of course like everyone knows you need a vacation from vacation so you have 30 days and i also took vacation to finally go out of town puerto rico and so i'll be showing y'all a video of that also so vacation time is same pro and a con like you have 30 days they're paid days which is a plus but you also have to be really careful like people want you to come home to see them while you're in the military and you're just like you can come see me like i'm not taking my beautiful precious limited amount of vacation days just to go back home kick it and chill same thing different day i'd rather use that vacation time to actually go on vacation to do something fun and make it useful and make it abundant and have an amazing experience and give it all back recommend it to other people have something to say add to your bucket list so um, i would just be really careful with how you use those vacation days now we're going to get into the family dynamic so with family they love you they honor you they show you off that you're in the service but also you miss them a lot they don't understand your schedule they don't know when to call and they always ask they ask when are you coming home and it's like um when are you coming to see moi you miss out on family vacations dinners events family reunions baby showers like it's no way I can be available for all of them. So I'll definitely say family is a con. I miss my family so much. I'm such a mommy's girl and I just wanna be with my family all the time. I know it's one of my dreams definitely to just have a big house, ideally a castle. 
and just host my entire family there. And so we can all be together, all take care of one another and just be happy. And they'll never have to go without me and I'll never have to go without them. Personal life. So personal life, I would say is a pro and a kind. I mean, it's super chill, except like you have to monitor yourself, what you post, what you wear, how you behave. You can't get too crazy because you have superiors to answer to. Um, you have most of the time people knowing a good bit of your business because the people you work with is the people that's on your social media. And the people that's on your social media is usually your friend group. And like, granted, they are your friends, but sometimes you, you know, exchange social medias with people that you buy with acquaintances just to, you know, we know each other, you know, so I kind of want to keep up with you. So personal life is like, um, I'll say it's like mostly a kind. It's not like you can just like call off work the next day to take like more personal time. Um, so, and it's also you have to like find yourself like when I'm not working, I've expressed this in my TikTok video. Like I feel like when I'm not working, I just wanna sleep. So if I'm sleeping, then I don't have time to do the things that I really like to do, like volunteering, like writing, reading, journaling, like dancing, singing. So I have to find time to do all these extra things, but I'm always tired. So personal life is a toughie and then you have people pulling you here and there like they want to hang out but then when people hang out they usually just drink and party or just sit around and like talk about generic things. So um, it's just like you really have to monitor and pick like yeah I want to be asked to hang out again but also like let's go sip and paint. Let's go hiking. So kind of choose your friends and if they make plans that you don't like then just say offer something else and you're still doing it together and you're still kind of having some type of things that you enjoy and productive now let's get into the nitty gritty the military as a whole i personally think it's a pro and a con so it's a pro because of the reasons that i stated well the reason that i stated that i wanted to join you get honor you get respect it's admirable. People look up to you. People congratulate you. You get so many discounts. Everyone just like talks to you. They're proud of what you do. They're happy that you are defending and working for the country and being a face of the very nation, the 10%. So 10%, 1%, one of them. And it's an honorary thing, but also ooh, a lot of things are strict. You have someone to answer to you can't talk back you have to when i go get my hair done i have to make sure it's in regulations i have to literally tell like my beautician like hey it has to be like this certain length like do you think this is a natural color for me like are these braids like certain width and then it's just like annoying and then your nails like you can't just get them any type of way like some of the bracelets that you wear like it just takes a lot but it also has like a lot of lasting impacting things like if you're in the military people are going to hire you um if you are in the military you're going to get like good deals you're gonna like you have no choice but to get yourself together get your credit together get your finances together because you're so supported in so many different ways um you get paid for everything it's always help somewhere for like mental health it's always help for advancing your career so the help is out there um and i would honestly say just answering to somebody is annoying not being able to call out it's annoying not being able to have time with your family is annoying um just having to be stoic and be militant and have great bearing all the time. It's like, yeah. So guys, that's my pros and cons. And did I do the life update? The life update. Um, I have an apartment. I got my dog here. Um, my relationships are getting better. Mm, and I'm just drawing closer and closer to God. Yeah.
so that's the life update and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for staying tuned remember to subscribe share comment ask questions i'm here for all of it for all of it so guys i'll see you next tuesday Bye.